So how do we get from this? Don't you? Whoa. Don't you? Whoa. To this. Don't you? Whoa. Don't you? Whoa. So when we talk about modern vocal production, things like pitch correction and time alignment are an absolute must. Now, although we can align things manually with different editing techniques like slicing, nudging things around, adding crossfades, this can take a really long time. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can do this with a couple clicks of the mouse. Now, although we are just working on the one chorus section, with the new Smart Align feature, we can work across an entire song if needed because the Smart Align feature allows you to simply enable that preference and then Vocal Line is going to do all the work for you. We're going to be working in Logic Pro today, but depending on which DAW that you're working with, some of the steps may differ a little bit. Let's have a quick listen to the tracks that we're working with. Don't you, whoa. Mute the instrumental. Don't you, whoa. I'll build an ocean for you, an ocean for two, ocean for you. Okay, overall, not bad, but if we zoom in on these specific sections, and let's, for example, just do a little bit of a zoom on our regions, you'll notice over here that we definitely have some discrepancies in terms of timing. So I can see a different length in terms of this last note, and then I can see just visually that some things have been sung in different timing. So the idea here is that we wanna have one main timing reference, which in this case is going to be this track over here, and then we want all of the other tracks to basically follow the timing, but we don't want to have to do any manual tedious editing. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to make mention of here is the presets section. If you know what it is exactly that you want to do, in our case, we know that we want to tightly align these vocals, then it really makes sense to choose your preset before you ingest any audio. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to apply the exact same preset for all of the different audio. In this case, I'm going to choose tightest timing. Well, I know that for this track over here, this is going to be my guide, so I'm going to click Capture. Notice that it played a really quick snippet. That's because we have this very specific preference enabled within Logic. So now that it's played this, we have our guide captured. Now the next thing I wanna do is I'm going to select all of my dubs at the same time, and I wanna capture these all at once. So again, same thing over here. So now you'll notice that Vocaline Project 5 has rendered new outputs. Now if we zoom in, we can see over here that we have this blue overlay, and then we have this yellow waveform, and the two of them are superimposed over top of each other. This is basically showing us the actual guide's timing, and then the yellow waveform that's rendered over here is the retimed dub that has been stretched or compressed to more accurately align to the guide track. So basically at this point, that's it, we're done. If we wanted to play this back, it's going to be in perfect alignment. But before we have a listen, let's take a look at some of these preferences over here. So the first thing I wanna point out, and the preference that you will probably be using the most is the alignment tightness. Now you can see right now it's set to zero milliseconds in terms of its tightness, but if I was to, for example, select this track, and I wanted to adjust how tight this is being aligned. This is something where I could zoom in and I could basically offset this a little bit. And now notice that we have a little bit of deviation here that's happening in terms of the actual dub track and how it's referenced against the timing of the guide track. The more I back this off, the closer it's going to get to the original performance that was sung on the double. But if I wanted this to be a lot more tighter in very specific sections, you can see over here in this area as well, then I just have to simply move this up and you'll notice that this kind of snaps in place in terms of alignment. Now the Smart Align feature, always worth having on. I would never take it off. This is especially useful for if we need to work in bigger sections than just, for example, working in the chorus at the same time. You could, for example, take one lead vocal track, bring in the whole thing, and then bring in all of your doubles and all of your harmonies and process these all in one shot. Let's have a quick listen. I'm going to select all of my tracks over here. Let's kill our effect sense for now, and let's have a before and after. Don't you, whoa, don't you, whoa, don't you, whoa, don't you, whoa, I build an ocean for you, an ocean for two, 
So you can hear the results here. They sound extremely natural. We don't hear any artifacts or any major degradation on the audio. And we quite simply have a perfect timing alignment. Now, once we've finished up with our processing, it's a good idea to actually render these changes into the audio itself. Now, this particular workflow is going to differ depending on which DAW that you're working with. And now we have our brand new cleanly rendered audio. And if we zoom in, notice that all of these waveforms are lining up really, really nicely with each other. We don't have those discrepancies that we saw before. And now after we've rendered Vocaline into all of these different audio regions, let's have a quick before and after in terms of spreading things out more along the lines of how I would have these in a mix. In addition, I'm also going to enable my delay over here. Let's have a listen. tutorials that are specific to your DAW of choice, be sure to head over to SyncroArts.com or you can find us on YouTube or Vimeo. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.